So hi, my name is Nasser. I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. And this, everything that you see around me is the Guy's campus. It's the life sciences and medicine and also dentistry campus. So most of the students that you'll see walking around here are studying one of those three things. I originally did my first degree in Toronto at the University of Toronto in immunology, biotechnology and molecular biology. And now I'm studying medicine here in London. So this behind me is the Shepherd's Bush Building, also known as the Chandler Sale Center. So what this building is, is it's basically a hospital simulated environment that medical students can come into and we can practice all the clinical skills that we both see in hospital and do in hospital so that we can make sure that we're really good at them while, uh, while interacting with patients on clinical placement. Um, so inside the Chandler Sale building, we have on display one of the student selected components by one of my good friends. Um, so in this project that you do in second year, it can either be clinically focused or it can be about the arts and humanities. And so my friend, he decided to use photography to showcase the passions that medical students have outside of medical school. So for example, uh, we have someone playing the guitar, we have me making YouTube videos, um, and we're all wearing a stethoscope to indicate that we are medical students and we love medicine, but we also have passions outside of medical school that we carry on with us. We don't just forget about them just because we're now in medical school. Um, it's something that we can continue to do. So this is the Hodgkin building behind me. And if you're interested in medicine at all, you might have heard of Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it's actually named after Mr. Hodgkin, who was a anatomy curator here many, many years ago. Um, so that's who this building is named after. It's basically the cornerstone of the medical school here on Guy's campus. It has a couple of lecture theaters, many smaller rooms dedicated to tutorials and case-based discussion type learning. And then it also has the cadaveric dissection rooms. They're up on the top floor. And something great about King's is that the cadaveric dissection is done firsthand by the students. So it's a really good way to sort of get in there and really practice uh, taking a look at the human body from the inside. It's a very good way to learn your anatomy and I would highly recommend it if you can. It's actually one of the main reasons that I applied to King's College London as well. Um, so we're standing just outside one of the anatomy labs, which is where I held a human brain in my hands for the very first time. And just to the left of me over here is the Gordon Museum. This is a museum that houses thousands of anatomical specimens uh, ranging from all different systems of the body and they all have some sort of pathology that's going on with them. So you can look at the anatomical specimen in the, in the pot and then also read about the pathology that's going on in there. So it's another really great learning resource for medical students here at King's. So since I studied immunology as one of my majors back at the University of Toronto, when I got to King's College London, I decided to join the Immunology Society and they asked me to give a presentation or a lecture in this room to second year medical students uh, talking about different immunological diseases. So let's say rheumatoid arthritis, uh, SLE or lupus um, and other things like that. So this lecture hall holds a special place for me because it's where I gave my first sort of lecture at university. Um, and yeah, they've recently renovated it with all these bright colors. Uh, so it'll be perfect for when you come here. Um, so I chose to study medicine because when I was younger, I was thinking that no matter what the job that I was going to do or the work that I was doing, I wanted to make sure that it had a positive impact on the people around me that I could feel within a relatively short period of time. And then because I really loved uh, sciences at high school and I had a passion for the human body, I decided to do some research experience and also work in hospitals to shadow doctors and sort of try and see if that love for the sciences in the human body would be applicable to the chaotic field of medicine. Um, and I found that it did. I really enjoyed every single experience that I did. And that's what pushed me towards actually applying to medical schools in the end. And here I am. 
Um, so now, as a second year medical student, like I mentioned before, we are exposed a lot more to the clinical settings of medicine. And so we spend one day a week on Tuesdays in the hospital, and then one day a week on Fridays in general practice. And that's all the clinical teaching that we get. And then Mondays is a day that's covering lectures. So usually from nine till about 12, I think now, we have lectures in the morning. And then we have tutorials and workshops sort of spread out throughout the week. Um, involve, including on Thursday, we have what's called a student selected component. So it's a, a field of study that we get to choose out of a list of like 200 different options. And it's something that you can delve into deeper and do some research on. You get to write an essay and do a presentation, uh, things like that. So second year is quite structured. Um, in comparison to first year, first year of medical school here at King's is very lecture heavy. We had lectures from anywhere between 9 and 1, 9 and 3, and then even sometimes 9 till 5. Um, of course with lunch breaks in the middle, but uh, first year was a lot more lecture heavy. And then we also had tutorials, workshops, cadaveric dissections, and that sort of filled up the entire week. Um, but there was a lot less... Um, but there wasn't really any clinical exposure in first year. It was more about simulated scenarios with patients to prepare you for the clinical exposure in second year. Um, so another big thing about King's College London is that it's a really research intensive school. So we're actually located right next to Guy's Hospital, which is just behind me there. Um, it's one of the biggest hospitals in London and they do a lot of great surgery and work here. And we also have research fa facilities um, in the New Hunts House building on campus. And just generally, there are, a lot of good there are a lot of lecturers here that put out really amazing research. And in fact, a lot of my friends do research here during the school year and over the summer. Um, so if you're interested in research, King's is definitely a really good place to go. So this is the shed. It is the social hub of Guy's campus, and this place is absolutely packed during lunchtime. Everyone comes to take a break here uh, in between lectures or for their lunch or just to unwind a little bit. We also have a ping pong table and a foosball table, so there's a lot of good places to let off some steam. And the social life here at King's is honestly really great. Um, there's over, I think, 200 societies that you can join, so many different groups and activities to take part in. <laughs> And on top of that, because it's such a big school, there's so many students that you can meet. There's so much opportunity to make new friends and hang out with different types of people. So there's something here for everyone. And on top of that, I want to say that there's always time for extracurriculars, even in a course as demanding as medicine. For example, I play basketball once a week, I go to the gym multiple times a week, and I still have time to hang out with my friends at bars, at board game nights, whatever it is. So yeah, I even have enough time to run my own YouTube channel. Um, it's called Karma Medic and it focuses on helping prospective medical students get into medical school. I remember when I was applying to medical school how difficult everything was and so I want to give back to everyone and try and help them get into medical school. And I also try and give you guys a little bit of an insight into what it's like uh, for someone to be in medical school, you know, the social life, the work, the studying, the clinical placements and everything like that. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it and want to learn more about colleges and see days in the life of different students. You guys can also subscribe to this channel if you want to get more of this content. Um, so yeah, enjoy!